I'm on a 6,000 mile road trip exploring the Pacific coast with the goal of knocking out as many new species as possible from my kayak. And I'm catching fish like this. <laughs> yeah, I got color. Yeah! So come along as I fish both freshwater and salt and meet new kayak anglers along the way. What? This is Field Trips with Robert Field. Look at that! That was insane! All right, guys, so I made it up here to Lodi, California, and I'm about to go meet up with Dan Arbuckle from Headwaters Kayak. Uh, it's a killer kayak shop. I've been hearing about it for years now. Um, I hear nothing but great things about Dan. And today we're gonna be going out and fishing in the Delta where the river meets the ocean, uh, fishing for largemouth bass, and hopefully, if we can find them, some striper. All right, guys, so we just got the Headwaters Kayak Shop. About to meet up with Dan Arbuckle, the owner, and uh, see if we can't get on some fish. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Robert? What's going on, on, man? man? Good to finally meet you. Yeah, good to, good to have you. Welcome to California. I like the shop, dude. Thanks. You're really pack, nice. Tack a lot of stuff in this little spot. <laughs> I dig it, man. I dig it. Been here about your shop for a long time. It's good to finally come check yeah, it out. Yeah, glad to have you. So what's the plan for today, fishing-wise? Well, we're going to go hit the Delta. We're going to go fish for some bass. Hopefully we can get some of the stripers boiling out there. Nice. Um, they're moving and chasing shad, so we're going to be throwing some shad pattern stuff and hopefully awesome. hook them up. The, these striper, they live offshore and they come in? Yeah, they're, so they're yeah in the exactly. Ocean? So right now they're chasing shad in, in and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go hit it from low tide. As that tide starts moving, things start moving around. Yeah, Hopefully yeah. Uh, hook them up. Awesome, man, awesome. Sounds good, let's get stuff loaded up and hit All right, it. sounds good, Robert. So the delta here is basically where a bunch of rivers converge and dump into the ocean. And so that's how those striper get up here. And really it reminds me a lot of the marshes back home. Now where we're at, we're far enough up that this is fresh water while we're catching bass. But uh, it reminds me a lot of the salt marshes back home. Got a bunch of these reeds, it's all relatively shallow, a bunch of grass in the water. It reminds me a lot of fishing for speckled trout or something back home. But it is beautiful out here. Normally they're out in the middle pushing the bait up to the shore. Right. A little largemouth. Just ran that swim bait along these reeds and uh, he pumped it pretty good. Not exactly a monster, but my first California largemouth. I'll take it. <laughs> Fish on. A little bit better largemouth. Maybe even smaller largemouth. That little guy. I keep getting bit and I'm not hooking up. I think it's something small. I just lost a little baby striper and uh, casting out here, I mean, I'm getting bit like three or four times every retrieve and it's just not sticking. I think it's maybe something small just hitting the tail. I'm not getting the hook in his mouth. There we go. Nice. Right as I say that, something got it. Feels decent. Yeah, a little striper. Oh, he inhaled it too. Nice. First California striper, certainly no monster, but uh, they are definitely harder fighting fish than largemouth pound for pound, without a doubt. So, you know, that little guy puts up a good fight, like a little two and a half pound largemouth, but he's probably maybe a pound, maybe even less. Hey, got a fish on the board. Been getting a bunch of bites right out here in the middle. So, uh, you know, striper, they're schooling fish. They're here from the ocean. They swam up, we're about a hundred miles from the ocean right now. They swam all the way up here to uh, lay their eggs. So. Typically where you find one, you're gonna find multiple. And based on all the bites I was getting right there, I got a feeling there's a little school moving through. See if we can't hook up a few more, 
maybe get a bigger fish in the boat. Oh, we got Shad busting bait right here. Busting them on the surface. Fish on, he hit it right at the boat. Startled me, I was just about to pull it out of the water. He slammed it. A little bit bigger, not much, but uh, obviously they're still around here, so I'm gonna keep casting out, see if I can't weed through these small guys and get a bigger one. Uh, they're getting a little bit bigger every morning catch, so not a terrible sign. go. A little bit better bass. Fun little fight. A little crawfish shell. And one of the best ways to figure out a new fishery, see what you see floating around dead. Uh, something got this crawfish. That tells me they're feeding on crawfish. So I've got the swim bait to imitate the shad, but if they're eating crawfish, I got a little craw I could throw out too. Maybe try that for a little bit, see if we can't hook up. Fish out. These little bass. They're slamming it, man. He hit it right there in the boat, and I didn't even think he knew he was hooked. In fact, I didn't even know he was on her first. <laughs> Dude, yeah, like I haven't gotten a single, but I've caught nine fish, not a single one came out the bank. And I've been fishing like 50 50, but everything's come out here in this open water. I don't know why. The, maybe the cloud cover's got them roaming around. This pursuit is pretty rad, dude. Like, it's just so comfortable to fish out of. Yeah. It's nice, man. You got this nice. Yep. Got this nice, uh, just kind of open deck. Sit here and chill, sitting sideways, man. It'd be killer for drifting, you know? You could be drifting and just rotating around, casting different directions. Hey, I'll let me know if I'm in your way. Fish out. They are definitely chewing today. I think that's my 10th fish, and I really don't know what I'm doing out here, so. Uh, they've been slamming this swim bait. This is actually butter it baits. My buddy up in uh, Pennsylvania and these things the tails just has killer action And they're not able to resist it and we were working the bank all morning Nothing really was hitting as soon as I started fishing just out here in the, these kind of flats So we started hooking up on both striper and largemouth. So we're gonna keep at it. Been a fun day so far Just a second ago, I had a much bigger striper follow my bait all the way to the boat. Saw it at the last second and he took off. Uh, so I just kind of hung out here using this as an anchor and uh, just started casting out in that same area. And sure enough, I just watched him come up and slam my swim bait right by the boat. They're getting bigger. That's a decent little fight right there. Let's see, he's uh, measure him on the accent paddle. He's 18 inches, decent little striper. And man, I tell you what, these guys put up a fight. Yeah, he fought a lot harder than he looks just a fun fish beautiful colors on him too 
let this guy go, see if maybe there's a school of bigger ones coming through here. Feisty when you release them. So I haven't been able to weed through the smaller fish out here, but you know, any day filled with non-stop action is a killer day on the water. It's easy to forget about all those days you go out and get skunked and take a day like today for granted. But the sun's going down, so I gotta get back, get loaded up, and get back on the road to head further north. Now I'm heading north and the next leg of my trip will be in Redding, California and we're gonna be going out for rainbow trout. I've actually never caught a freshwater trout, period, so it should be a cool experience. It's about five or six hour drive north, but the nice thing is I'll be driving through wine country, so it should be a pretty scenic drive. On the next episode of Field Trips, it's time to venture into Northern California to Redding, where I'll be exploring the beautiful Sacramento River with Hobie Pro Staffer Ben Weishman. Our target, the beautiful and notoriously feisty rainbow trout. Nice, yeah. Now I've never caught a freshwater trout in my life, and the smallest fish I've targeted on the trip so far turns out to be one of the most challenging. Watch as Ben puts on a clinic while trying to help me land my first rainbow. Oh, we're running out of time in this drift. Pretty sure I've missed a few fish. This is definitely harder than it looks. 